Hey, what's up, guys? Sonic's Toast. I'm bring you guys part three of our playthrough of Sonic Time Twisted on Android's part of Fan Game Sunday. So, last week, we took care of Frigid Fortress Zone and Viridian Valley Zone, and here we are at the fifth level in this game, which is Drifting Dynamo Zone. Closer in the future. So, yes, this is technically a desert level, which also can act as an airship level, but that's only in the future. And I'm not just sitting in my car right now doing this for no reason whatsoever. I just wanted to. We are humming that's the car because I'm actually sitting somewhere and fucking listening to something, but I'm not because I don't know. I'm just that way. Aw, oh, crap. Come on now. Freaking ostrich. So I might have to just run new pauses and just... Oh, okay, that's cool. Oh shoot, there's the past. I might have just farted and it smells really bad. So basically the future is just like... It, it actually looks like a desert and the uh, the airship that was being built is actually complete actually a part of the level mainly more so I think in act two Well act one is still being built and there are also some sections that are like sky chasing where uh, tails will show with a tornado Which is pretty cool Hopefully we will show that off uh, in the back but it's still kind of being built Oh, cause yeah, we're already in the airship here. Okay, be careful here. So, as you can tell, this takes a little bit of inspiration from flying batteries, and I think there's actually a special stage in here. There is. Shoot, I almost didn't make that turn. No! Dang it! Okay, that's not good. That's not good. That's not good at all. Yeah, come here, little Sonic! Oh! No! It's not good. Go, Sonic, go! Oh, we lost. No, I want to try that again. We can, we can definitely win this one. We can definitely win this one. Are you kidding me? Are, I did not. No, okay, we'll do this one more time. Oh, what? Up yours, buddy. What? What the heck? Come on, dude. Well, I'll take that too. That's better. And there we go. That is it for Act One of Drifting Dynamo. But I'm gonna, uh, I don't know. I'm gonna take a quick break because I'm actually gonna go somewhere else. I'm actually leaving now, so. We're gonna wait and hold on here for just a little while. Plus, I plus I don't know my AC sucks in my car, so I don't want my phone to get too hot. So I'm gonna do that. Okay, but let's see where where does this turn out at again? Oops, sorry about that. Right, I shall return.
So we're back on track now. Okay, so the good news is that we should get to leave off where we were to make off with our beliefs. Maybe we start to get to it, but here we are at the of Drifting Dynamo Zone. So, see, we need to get little... Oh, yeah, I got an extra life back from the top of phase 2. I hope you are ready. Okay, that's just what we're going to show us this before we Shoot, okay, freaking hand is issuing where we're going to have to freaking jump. Well, it actually takes place inside the ship in the future, I didn't know that. But yeah, honestly, this boss from the beginning has sucked my balls because this, if you're not careful, this boss will lag like, terribly because of all of the stuff that is going on on the screen, dude. I think you can actually, like, not the UFOs. Black Sox, whatever you want to call it, and I can knock them up at Metal Sonic. Because I'm not seeing this project is called the Metallics Overlord, but it's just the more powered up metals. Can you land on the freaking platform, Sonic? Jeez. Oh, shoot, I wanted that. Get the ring! I can make it go, Sonic. Out sort of all the bosses that I've played, though, this one is definitely my least favorite. How did I get hit by that? I got that like four times the first time I actually fought this boss. What? 
Now I want the ring more than anything. Now we've officially played Act 2 of Drifting Dynamo Zone. I get to actually try the stage out in the future now. And Tidal Tube Zone. Let's see in the future the level was actually just a giant oil rig. Out in the middle of the ocean? Well, in the past, it looks like a little pirate grotto. Oh shoot, I'm staying too far up there now. Oh, come on. Are you kidding me? Bro, man. Ooh. Okay, so that makes up for it. And now we're gonna go to the past. Oh, the beginning of this song right here, though. No, I wanted you to freaking... for act one of Tidal Tube Zone. Can't breathe in the water, you're not hypersonic. We'll take this water shield though.
Another extra life. Whoa, what the heck? It looks a lot more murky underwater in the future. It looks a lot darker. Oh shoot, chill, chill, chill. What was the... Oh, I tried, I really did. No, oh my god, damn it, freak. Well, dude, hop on it. Do something, jeez. Wait, huh? The freaking drowning thing ought to terrify me. Yes. Double yes. Another extra. How many things look like six? damage to that team. ESPN, dude. But there we go. That's it for Act 2 of Tidal Tube Zone. The sound lag, though. But last, that is not going to go interrupted for this video. This is actually just a solo act here that we actually have to do for to proceed to the last level of the game, the last regular level of the game. Which you have to be in the future for if you're in the past to give you a time post for you to travel back. Welcome to Sunken Saucer Zone. The key to the technology of what Metal Sonic is looking for to bring Robotnik back to the dead.
pretty much get the point of what we're doing here. And I decided to jump into that. I'm getting Sonic and Death Force, it looks like. But not that kind of death. Take off now. Up yours, buddy. Up yours. Dang, you know they're not down that freaking far, though. Sunken Saucer Zone. As it puts us at Planetary Panic Zone, which is the last normal stage of the game. So anyways, if you guys like this video, make sure to like button and subscribe. It really helps out. And next week, we're going to be finishing up just the regular game without getting the bad ending. But anyways, that's all we got this week. See you guys next Sunday. Peace.